So he is not there. Then is the next speaker, Mr. Mami Yan Yan, EPP. Yes, you have to floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Honorable colleagues, I would like to add some more facts to those that have been presented by the rapporteur in the paragraph about South Caucasus. Because systematic obliteration of a rich and ancient heritage of Armenia is not only a cultural tragedy, but also a flagrant violation of international law and human rights. The Armenian cultural identity is deeply rooted in the history of the South Caucasus. However, the legacy has been increasingly under threat, okay. particularly in the context of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. The Caucasus Heritage Watch, an organization monitoring cultural heritage in conflict zones, has provided comprehensive documentation on the matter. St. Yerishe Arakel Monastery, the 9th century Armenian monastery, has been significantly damaged. Photographic evidence from 2023 shows the removal of Armenian inscriptions and the defacement of the religious symbols. The destruction is a part of a broader pattern observed in the territories that came under Azerbaijani control after the 2020 war. Shushi Cathedral, the iconic cathedral which was shelled during the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war. Despite international calls for its protection, the site has been further neglected and damaged in 2023. Satellite images confirm the deterioration of the important cultural landmark. There are sources claiming that Azerbaijan is trying to wipe out Armenian origins of it and turning it into so-called Albanian monastery. St. John, John the Baptist Church, Kanach Jam, located in Shushi, this church has been subjected to repeated vandalism. In 2023, reports indicated that the church's dome and cross has been removed and its interior desecrated. The Astvatsatin Church, another significant site, the Astatatin churches in Hadrut district has been repurposed with the Azerbaijani authorities conveying into a mosque, erasing the Armenian Christian heritage. Azerbaijani authorities won't stop on that. They didn't stop till they ethnically cleansed Nagorno-Karabakh, where there is not a single Armenian at the moment. I'm sure that sooner or later the right of self-determination of Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh will be exercised as agreed and announced five times by the heads of states of Minsk Group co-chair countries. Azerbaijani authorities are afraid of that, as they should be. And the fear transferred into aggression towards people, monasteries, and cultural sites. The preservation of cultural heritage is a collective responsibility. By safeguarding the Armenian heritage, we uphold the principles of cultural, cultural diversity, historical integrity, and international law. Let us stand united our commitment to protect and preserve the cultural identity of all nations, ensuring that history, no matter how vulnerable, is never forgotten. Thank you. Thank you.